No shrimp and no crab in here. Hell no. Yeah, I, snails. I, I like snails better yeah. than the... And then t and algae eaters. Um, that overflow. Should stick some of that Aquamax under and... Yeah, I tried this, just regular super glue and putty, uh -huh. and it kind of sucks. The, it's crazy though, if you use a little bit of the Aquamax... The plastic stuff, the resin? Yeah, and then you just shape it to your frag plug, yeah. put that super dollar super glue on there, and it's like an instant bond, it's like... But it'll be Maybe because it's like plastic to plastic, maybe? Yeah. Because I had this GSP on there, my son, I got it from my son, uh -huh. and um, it fell off. So I've just stuck it on that rock. Yeah. That's super nice, man, it's really great. Yep. I had that big ass rock and I, I gave it to that. gave it to uh, I like that. That one in the front? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make sure I'm definitely I have sure some. Of it. You have that? I think so. Is that the is that pink lemonade? Tyree, pink lemonade. Well I've got some online and it doesn't look as nice as yours, but hopefully mine will color up. This is supposedly some type of shortcake. The tips are coming in. When I first got it, they weren't. You see the pink tips on it? Uh -huh. They're starting to come in. Yeah, this is dope. That green that acro I got from you, you thought it was a slimer, but it's not. I don't know what it was. I think it is a slimer. I think it's just changing colors in your tank. Didn't Because I gave you some slimer, too. Yeah, but I don't... That no, was no. Like, that was a slimer. Cause, really? Uh-huh. Because it, it looked was, like it. It broke. It had broken. Because I got that... That that one in the back. That's a slammer. That's what he. That's what they said it was. Uh, I don't know, but I like it. It's nice. Yeah, that thing is like bulletproof. I've done so many bad things to my tank. <laughs> yeah. And those frag racks are the shit too. Yeah, I want to get some more. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I don't. Don't. I don't even know. I'm never. I'm not even gonna try the cheap shit again. It. It's nice. It's expensive, but. Yeah, but it lasts you forever. Yeah. You could put them all on your tank. Yeah, and it doesn't and it, the thickness and stuff. Like I ordered this piece of shit off of eBay. It was like ten dollars. Yeah, that's the tough. fucking magnets were. You probably have to have like a five gallon tank for it to work. What is this? That is a German blue digi. Oh, okay. Or something. I don't know. That's what it said. So it's gonna be cool because once you start doing that ATI. Stuff I think maybe your sticks will take off on a little bit more color. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, Cause this that's cool. This kind of looks like a bird's nest. Like yeah, I know it, it does look like a bird's nest, but it might be. I don't know. But it is blue though. For yeah. uh, so I don't. I have no idea. I thought I gave you bird's nest. Didn't no, I? Oh, I got some. It's, I get you. And that 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 lepto. Yeah, I just threw it in there. That's cool. That's so twenty dollars. I couldn't pass it up. these orange zoas they're not out yet but man when they're out they're big and just super bright orange those are the ones that you most i didn't know if they were bam bams or not yeah. but i don't think they are i think they are are they i thought the bam i think it's just because your lights are changing on different because mine were under led yeah i like your lights well i had to take out i had two more Blue plus in there. Uh -huh. It was just too much power, so I switched two of them out for the Tinix, and everything's doing a lot better. And do you leave your reef brights on all the time, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, they come on from twelve to two, uh -huh. and then they come back on from five to ten, or something like this. And they're being um, controlled by the Apex, or? Yeah, just on off. Not, I don't have the dimmable ballast for it. Uh, yeah. I don't really need all that. That's another $75. And these are all um, Blue Plus? Uh, blue Plus, Blue Plus, Atenic, Coral Plus, Blue Plus, Blue Plus, Coral Plus, Atenic, Blue Plus. I ordered two Blue Plus, two Coral Plus. I think I'm going to go back to Aqua Blue Special, so I like the wider look. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Aqua Blue kind of makes it like baby blue. Well, the the coral plus is like more purpley. Yeah. I don't I don't really like it, but I it grows coral. But yeah, it has everything. I like the coral plus, but I think if I like had like kind of your setup, 
where I can only have two bulbs, mm -hmm. I would be coral plus. Yeah. That is dope. That pump, that return pump is blowing pretty good. It's only on 50%. It's crazy. Yeah. So I, the only way, because I, I didn't know if I wouldn't want the 20, but there's no way. That thing would have been way too strong. The only thing I don't like about that return pump is it has to be hooked up to the apex. Well, yeah. I don't like that. The, the, the 20 doesn't. The 20 just plugs into a, so a wall outlet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like standalone. Oh. But I have a J-Bo, a spare J-Bo that I kept and didn't sell. Yeah. Just in case. The fish is loving the camera. Look at those freaking things on the bottom of that frog spawn. Those freaking verminid snails. Is that what those are? I think so. Well, you see those three heads coming in, though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just break those those two. I think those are like those two two berms, aren't they? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I know some of them have that weird little web thing. Yeah. And I I, I, I check every frag, and, you know, shit just gets in there, dude. I'm surprised I don't have bubble algae yet. Yeah, I have it. It's a nice tank. Like it. I'm so deathly afraid to get dinos, man. That's why you don't have any sands? I don't have sand yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I think there's just something with dinos and sand. Well, yeah, it comes out of the, the, the silicates and stuff. I don't know, people say because it's too low in nutrients, but I don't know if I believe that. Because oh. I had dinos in my first tank and it was a nightmare. Mm, did you have Chato? No. Okay. That's another thing, I hate this sump because there's no spot for a refugee. It's very cool. I like it. I like your tank. And then I suck up all the detritus once a week back here. It all collects in this corner, uh -huh. and I just, I got a little, like a hard, uh, hard tubing connected to some soft tubing, and just stick it down here, just put it through there, and then it goes into the filter sock so I don't have to replace water. You know, I like your, your sump, because um, oh, it doesn't have that, uh, it's big, it's not, it doesn't have that, um. That freaking auto top off thing. Oh, or yeah. Did it, did it? Yeah, I took it off. Okay. It's a piece of crap. Yeah, it was like two gallons, isn't it? And then, well, they sell a baffle kit for this, so I might get it. So basically, cutting it in half, and I might try to throw Cheeto. If I need it, but I don't think I don't need it. And you're using the. It looks like you're using the. Or you're not. Okay. You're using the Tunzi? Yeah. Okay, because I saw that ball. I don't yeah, I just didn't take it out. All right. I was like, mm. Yeah, no, I, I'm not going to trust that thing. I know some people do, and they don't have problems with it. But... And then rock 0 0.8, and then I, I put 10 tablespoons of that, and then I mix in one tablespoon of GFO. So I try, I usually ran GFO, and I ran this, this thing right here, because this is... The amount that I used to run on my 90, huh? and I had it on the other side, and everything looked like shit. I like the next day. It was like too much. Yeah. So I just mix in, it's 1 to 10 ratio in my carbon, and it seems to be doing good. Uh, I haven't been running carbon or GFO on my tank, and I have it, but... I did. I, I, I think I went, um, but, uh, I think last month I didn't run any carbon, and then on my last water change I put carbon in, and it was, the difference was crazy. Just the clarity of the water. Well, the rocks, yeah. And my rocks, I never really had hair all the knock on wood. Your rock, your tank, your rocks look good. Um, did you recycle some of this rock from your last build, or? No, Is the, that... all this rock came from Eric. Okay. And I nuked it, because I don't know if you've seen his tank, but he was selling his tank and he sold all his corals and like, uh, yeah, freaking. It was just Aptasia and uh, what the hell are those things called? Pulsing Xenia. Uh, it was covering all this on stuff. On this rock? Yes. 
So I just I went out back and lanthanum chlorided it. First I bleached it, then I lanthanum chlorided it, and then I bleached it again. Where did you get the lanthanum chloride? Out? Ace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not lanthanum chloride. Uh, muriatic acid. Oh, I was like, yeah. Uh, I know that chloride, lanth lanthanum chloride it's is that in that pulse the stuff. That's a phosphate remover. Phosphate right? RX yeah. stuff. Yeah, I just threw it all in here. I used, uh, I used like all the bacteria, man, like Dr. Tim's, Fritz, the, uh, what's the other one? Biospira. Yeah. And then I dripped in uh, ammonia. It supposedly, it supposedly said it was cycled in a week, but I, I waited a month. They're officially good. There's a lawnmower blending in here somewhere. It usually chills in like those caves and stuff. But I had a trigger that died. Oh yeah. I don't know, it's my favorite fish. Sweet. But that dude works, man. Uh, what's the name of that? Selfin. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. They're mean. I don't know. <laughs> I know they, they I'm sure if when I add my other fish he's gonna be an ass. Looks good though. But Brandon at Exotic Ocean, he's got really healthy fish. He, he quarantines his fish, or he copper treats them. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to pick one up from him today, uh a copper gun? Yeah, I I am gonna get one eventually, but yeah, I'm gonna wait till this tank's at least two years old. For a copper gun? Yeah. Just, I don't know, I heard those are really hard to keep. Yeah. I want... But I heard they eat that mastic stuff. Oh, do they? So if yours isn't eating, just let me know and you just swing by and grab... Actually, I'll give you some in a Ziploc bag okay. and you can try it out. Um, I was reading on the forums that people with copper bands, they have that uh, sea squirt and they put food in it. Yeah. And then the, since the fish has that long beak... They like eat from that beak and all the other fish won't fuck it's, with it. The copper man's probably my favorite fish. Yeah. Yeah, I love that fish. But I would, I would never, I, I have never tried to keep it. But they look super nice. The only reason I want it is for the Aptasia. Aptasia? Yeah. But supposedly they're active swimmers yeah. and. But I think that that juice stuff that I not juice but the Ju F Aptasia. Yeah. Uh, I think that stuff is gonna work pretty good. So you just put it in the syringe, just yeah, like the calc just, paste that you we yeah. used to do. Yeah, it's just like Aptasia X. Yeah, just like that. I don't like that calc paste stuff. But this stuff doesn't, and you cut off all your flow. You you apply it, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes later, it stays there. It doesn't blow all over the the place. Have you ever tried Bergia Nudibranchs? Yeah, uh, my friend um, uh, hooked me up with some of those, and I think my rats ate them, and they're expensive too. I've I don't know. I was watching BRS and they said order them from Salty Underground. Are they like the only ones that sell them or something? Yeah, they're like twenty-five dollars each. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they small too? Yeah, they're like little. Oh no. no. And then uh, supposedly they they do the job, but I like that paste. But we'll see how that. I want to try that Majano one, man, because he showed me it and it it annihilated him. Really? His tank had a bunch of Aptasia just stuck it in there, and he shocked the shit out of them, and they were gone. Hmm. They just like melt. That's cool. Tim gave me a laser. That was pretty cool. You can burn burn your name in a tree and catch wood on fire, but it didn't really didn't really help me out. I don't know. I'd be kind of freaked out, man, with the refractive, with the side glide. You beamed it off the side glass yeah. or something. It came back and hit one of your kids in the eye. Yeah. No, you have to wear gla goggles, but it's still, it's pretty hardcore. Is that a, what is that right there, dude? Right above those Zolas. I don't know what that is. But it's, it's really nice, but I have no idea what it is. That that thing right there above the zoos that I got from Alan. Well, this? Yeah. It looks like a dragon sulfavia to me. It's super fleshy. I don't know. It looks like dragon sulfavia. Oh, okay. It might be. See the, the color on it? Yeah. On, on the camera, it looks the same color. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Oh. I probably won't be in there that long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Right. Over to yeah, let's go.